Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm one of the drummers for Harvest Worship. Okay, Ryan, so walk me through what go th goes through a drummer's head during a uh, spontaneous worship moment. Yeah, so I think um, the biggest thing is that I'm relying mainly on my feel. Um, this is something that kind of develops as you play and as you kind of get more experiences under your belt, but um, I'm not thinking too much. I think it's it's primarily a feel thing and it's a communication thing with the rest of your team. Um, the biggest, biggest thing that helps me when I'm preparing and when I'm um, looking into what a spontaneous moment might look like, whether it's planned or unplanned, um, it comes down to, am I skilled in my craft enough to, when I get the verbiage in a spontaneous moment, that I'll be able to play a fill or play a groove that will fit in that moment. So just to back up for a minute, a spontaneous moment in worship is you're playing a song and then the worship leader might start going into something different that basically isn't on the music, right? It's, it's, it's kind of unscripted, I guess you could say. So is that something you guys plan out purposefully or does it just catch you off guard? Is it, how does that process work? Yeah, so um, we do and we don't talk about it beforehand. Um, I think there's, there's two kind of spontaneous moments that we run into on a, a given set. Um, there's the planned and then there's the unplanned. Um, the planned are moments that um, your leader might have in the secret place. This is something that comes from the heart. It's very, very personal. It's very, um, it's very intimate. Um, and this is something that, that we get the opportunity to come into a rehearsal and we get to talk through as a team, as a band. Um, we come in with an idea and we sit down at our instruments and we get to kind of flush out this idea so that um, when we come in on a, on a Sunday or for any set that we're able to um, really usher in this moment um, to the best of our abilities. And then we have our unscripted um, spontaneous moment. And these are moments that we find as they're happening. Um, it's, it's a real sweet thing that like, as you're playing, you kind of find yourself engulfed in, in um, a sweet new kind of sound or worship. Um, and this is, these are the times where your feel is, um, you're gonna rely on the most. You're going to kind of trust your gut for lack of a better um, term and communication with your team. That's your band leaders, anybody leading the band, your worship leaders. Um, knowing them is really important and key in these moments um, on and off the stage. I would say that your relationship off the stage is just as important as any musical relationship you have with your worship leader. Knowing their heart, knowing who they are and their character um, so that you can better move with where they want to go is a really big thing. That's awesome. So you'd say uh, every worship leader probably does spontaneous worship even differently because it's it's kind of flowing from their, their personality but also from their prayer time. And so just, just like everyone's, uh, you know, prayer time is different, everyone's style of spontaneous could be a little different. So you, you really have to be adaptable, I would think. Oh, yeah. Um, like each each person has a different sound or song within them and it's something that's um, really awesome because it's it's between them and the lord and it's something that they get to share even as a drummer you know i it's it's a little different because like they're not hearing my voice which is very um, specific to me but even the way that i engage um, the heads of my drums or my cymbals or, you know, the rhythm that comes out is something that is very personal and it's something that I, I think a lot about during sets and cherish, cherish kind of how I'm 
going into a groove or um, kind of sitting in a moment. That's cool. So how do you how do you know like when to get big or get loud and when to go soft? Is it just a total uh, instincts take over or or is there you know kind of some thought in the moment behind it? Yeah, so it's it's for me an instincts thing. Um, it's something that I'm again feeling and the the big thing for me is not being afraid to do something wrong you know um, we're, we're working as a team the worship team and my job as the drummer is to control kind of our dynamics you know we have as musicians and as team members we have responsibilities and then we have people who we're supporting right so as a drummer i'm responsible for the dynamics and i'm responsible for the groove the timing the heartbeat um, and i'm supporting you know our vocalist i'm supporting our keys and our bassist um, and they're supporting me and so as we're kind of coming into these moments i'm not going to be afraid to kind of take a little bit of control over dynamics or um, you know when we're going to get big or when we're going to get soft because um, good leaders will tell you when they don't want you to want you to do that and that's something that um, as you develop um, how you play and all, uh, your relationship with the rest of your team it comes from like giving them cues on when you're wanting to get big, say you don't have a talk back mic in your drum cage, how are you conveying to the rest of your team, okay, here here I'm um, gonna get big. Oftentimes what I do is I'll, I'll give a big punch right before a big build, and that's kind of letting my team know, like, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna go. That's awesome. Okay, last question. Uh, what, what's your favorite part of it, just overall? What's, what keeps, you passionate about drumming yeah I think it's it's the sweet moments you find in the spontaneous it's moments where you know you've you've all come together as a team and you lock in and there's like this sweet moment of all your work um, throughout the week and prior to set kind of pays off and comes to fruition like um, sweet moments like that just bring joy it's uh, it's really nice like I'll find myself in a groove in a in the pocket and we're kind of I'm matching what I'm doing with the bass player or like me and the keys hit a fill together and it's just the coolest the coolest moment because then you you get to like make eye contact with each other and smile and it's it's really awesome Awesome. Well, thanks so much for, for unpacking some of that. I know it's uh, super informative to me and beneficial, but I think a lot of other people uh, who want to grow in uh, spontaneous worship are going to uh, really get a huge benefit out of it. So keep up the good work and uh, we'll see you soon. Sweet.